What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded a video. I'm very sorry about that. Um, Thanksgiving, we've had three or four birthdays within the past two or three weeks. Just a lot going on. It's like Christmas time now, but um, I'm back. I'm wanting to make some videos again. Um, so today's the video going to be on the Nokens rear cup holders. These are like the flip up cup holders and they mount back here on the back bars, okay? They do not require any drilling, it's all bolt-on, so you don't have to drill holes and put it only in one spot. You can slide it back and forth. You can also flip it back and forth, say you're gonna load this inside an enclosed trailer, or you're gonna put this in a garage from a very tight fit where you can flip the cup holders up or down or whatever. They also have some other cup holders. I'll show you those as well. These cup holders here are supposed to match their diamond uh, pattern um, seat covers. So um, if you've seen that video, um, great. And these are the cup holders to match it. If you've not seen that video, I'll be sure to place that video at the end of this one here where you can check that out. Uh, they didn't require any uh, staple guns or anything. And they went on pretty good and they look pretty good as well. They make front seat covers and back seat covers in a couple of different colors. Uh, so yeah, but today's video, it's gonna be around the Nokens rear cup holders. Let's get started. Now, since these cup holders are made to go back here, we're gonna go ahead and flip the seat back down. I'm gonna unbox the product right here so we can check it out together. I just got a razor blade here. Let's pop this right here open. I've had this for a little while. Um, so let's see what we got here. First impressions after opening the box. They come bagged. And yes, they do match the front seats and the back seats here. So you, as you can see, you have a matching set of seat covers. That looks really good here. You got one there, you have another one here. So it comes with some instructions here, comes with a Phillips head screwdriver. And you got your hardware kit and there's nothing else in the box. Let's try to open up this hardware kit here. Find my razor blade, let's open it up. Some brackets. Not sure what all of this stuff is just yet. I've never installed these before. It comes with a little wrench. One side's an eight millimeter, the other side's a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna just go ahead and open all of these packages right here, lay them out on the back of the cart. All right, so it came with the instructions as shown here. Another good thing or cool thing that I kind of like about this right here company so far is Every time they sell you a product like these cup holders here, they're gonna give you the tools to install it yourself. Okay, you're not gonna have to go finding the tools or whatever. Say you're you're installing them at a campground and you didn't bring tools with you. Well, they got them here. Okay, I don't know why you would install them at a campground. I'm just saying. So um, it did not come with a razor blade. I supplied the razor blade to open the package. These looks like the flip up brackets here with the hinges on them. So we've got four of those. We've got some of these covers here with their logo it says Nokens, four of those. And we have a bunch of hardware here. So let's get started on the install. So on the instructions, it says Nokens is a factory manufacturer of golf cart modified parts and upgrades. It has rich production experience and standardized production processes comprehensive quality management and customer service to provide customers with quality products. Thank you very much for purchasing the armrest kit for better installation of this product. Please read the installation manual. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact us. They list a email address and they have a Facebook ID as well. Now, they also show a packing list. So it shows two cup holders. It shows four hinges, four hinge covers, one Phillips head screwdriver, one wrench, a screw pack, and a manual. 
And so it looks like that is all here. Now it says here, the first thing to do is open the flip hinge to 90 degrees because it's a dampening hinge. It would be very tight. Please be careful when opening it. Then use the six millimeter by 18 millimeter cross countersunk bolts to fix the hinge on the armrest as the picture shows. So it shows here on the picture, kind of open it up. We're gonna do that here. And it is, it's right, it's, it's very tough to open. It's not just gonna just, I feel like, I felt like when I was buying it, I felt like it was just gonna be kind of floppy and it's not like that. As you can see, it's, I mean, it takes a little bit of pressure to pull it apart. So it talks about pulling them all apart like that at 90 degrees. And that's what we're gonna do here. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to place the cup holders, the armrest cup holders, place them upside down like so. Now we're going to attach these right here to the straight portion. Okay. Not this side, but this side here like so. And it also says to use the countersunk six millimeter by 18 millimeter bolts to fix the hinge to the armrest. So these are going to be the bolts that you're going to use to attach the hinges to the armrest. And these are the shorter bolts. Now you have four of these size bolts here, and then you're going to have eight of this size bolt right here. So just note that we're going to use a provided screwdriver with it. And it's also a countersunk hole there has been beveled there. So when you put it on, it's very flat like so. Okay, just like that. A couple of different ways you can install your cup holders. You can have your cup holders facing the outside of the golf cart or the inside of the golf cart. It just really depends on which side you place the cup holder on. Take this for example here, we're gonna place this cup holder on the outside of the golf cart. Now by doing this right here, when you flip it up, it's gonna to flip towards the inside of the golf cart and to flip down towards the outside. If you put the other opposite side on here, the cup holder will be on the inside of the golf cart and when passengers are getting onto the golf cart, if they need some more room, they can flip it up to get on and then flip it down once they're on to the back of the golf cart. Very simple there. So we're gonna leave it in this orientation here real quick. And by doing so, these little covers here are the hinge covers. And they're gonna go between the lower plate here and the top plate to give it a more uniform look. Now when you're doing that, you're gonna replace the 40 millimeter size bolts into the cup holder hinge. You can actually go ahead and put both bolts in to begin with. That's probably what I would do in this situation here. Then I would take this little cover right here, come up from the very bottom, and both of the bolts will slide through the bottom of the cover. Then we're gonna take our flat washers and our nylon locking nuts. The nylon locking nuts, we're gonna use those on the 10 millimeter side of the wrench. So first we're gonna put our flat washer on. Then we're gonna put our nylon locking nut on. Once we have it in place and secure, we will use the Phillips head screwdriver from the top to tighten our bolts and the 10 millimeters portion of the wrench below to hold the nut securely. All right guys, so the cup holders are installed. This right here pattern matches the back seat. It matches the front seat. So it's a good looking cart here. I will say when you have them in this location here, it kind of feel, makes the back passenger feel like there's something else. I'm not gonna say it's gonna keep them safer into the cart, but it kind of wraps around the body here on the inside. It also is a much sleeker look. It's not hanging off the side of the golf cart out here. That's one of the reasons I did that. Another thing here is say you're gonna lift the back seat and put it down. You need to make sure to put your cup holders out when you're doing that. 
Then you can just go ahead and grab the back seat, put it down, put the cup holders back down if you need to. If somebody's getting on, flip them out the way, put the back seat down, they can put them down and they're good to go. Another thing I've noticed here is on these right here, flip out brackets, they have a piece of rubber down here so it's not gonna rattle down here. Okay, it's pretty nice. Also, the bottom of these cup holders are plastic, not like, not wood, unlike other cup holders I've ever had in the past, so there you go. Now, they also make some bolt-on cup holders, and they do with and without the pattern. I'll place uh, some video links here. Since I usually have little ones riding with me all the time, I'm going to place mine towards the inside of the cart here. It just falls into place there. Next, you can just go ahead and screw them down. And I'm not going to screw them down really tight. Just snug it up pretty good. And you'll be good to go. All right, guys. So here I am on the back of the golf cart. You know, armrest feels good. Say I don't like it in this position. I can just loosen the hardware up. I can move it forward. I can slide it back. You know, personal preference there. And, um, you know, if you want to get on or get off, you can flip them up and out the way. That's about it, guys. Appreciate you hanging around this far, checking out this small video, just small DIY. Thought I'd show these off, especially since they match the back seat covers and the front seat covers. I, I kind of like that a lot. So until next time, guys, we'll see y'all later. Oh, and if you made it this far, I'll be sure to place the links at the end of this video with the seats and the back seat and everything else I've got from Noken so far. So far, this company has really surprised me, and uh, I should be doing some more videos uh, of some of their products very soon. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.